Hi everybody, this is Robert Anton with my second or third installment, I don't know, of So You Want to Be a Singer. Um, one of the things that I would think really important and something that I think my mom had the right idea was um, if you want to be a singer, learn an instrument, especially while you're younger, but even as you're older you can learn an instrument. And what that would do is that would help you, for one, with your musicality, um, with your ear training. Of course, in learning an instrument, you also start learning how to read music. Um, and it's a second talent for you, uh, something that you could, you know, while you're learning your music, you can play along. Um, if you decide you want to join a band, then you have a second instrument to say, oh, well, I sing, but I also play saxophone. Some of the best things, I think, for singers, and this is just my uh, opinion, are uh, something like the guitar or the saxophone or the piano. Of course, with the piano, you can basically go anywhere and you can do your own music, you can do everybody else's music, and there's so many piano bars for jobs and playing for somebody's band or whatever else, uh, accompanying people, you know, who are doing auditions or for whatever reason. So my mom had me and my brothers take an instrument every year starting in first grade. And um, I guess it was just for practice or maybe it was to keep us busy and keep us out of trouble. But I took the violin, um, I took snare drum, I took trumpet, trombone, and I took piano. I can't play most of those instruments today, but when I do write my music, I can often hear the parts. Um, I can sing little solos to musicians to say, oh, I want you to start like this and it, and it just sounds something like this. Um, and it just helps. It just helps a lot to learn an instrument. So if you want to be a singer, especially if you're young and you're in a school when it's free, take an instrument. Uh, thanks. Bye.